The state of Nebraska has a large sum of extra revenue. Conservative lawmakers, including Governor Pete Ricketts, are hoping to use that money to cut taxes across the board. Today, Ricketts and other Republican members spoke on why they're focusing on tax cuts this season. And as 3 News Now reporter John Kipper tells us, they say it's Nebraskans money. We are not currently competitive tax wise. We're just not. It's no surprise that Governor Pete Ricketts and Senator Louie and Linehan are pursuing tax cuts yet again. The two have been pushing for them since they got to Lincoln. In Lincoln on Thursday, Ricketts praised the taxes the legislature already cut, which he says equals $2 billion over a two year period. But with state revenues booming around $400 million, they want to do more. We need to give the money back to the people of Nebraska. This is not our money. This is not my money, it's not the legislator's money. This is the money that belongs to the people of Nebraska. Ricketts, Lenahan, and members of the Revenue Committee are evaluating a variety of different taxes. Income, business, and property taxes, as well as retirement benefits all being mentioned as possibilities. Not morally acceptable to keep four or five hundred million dollars of taxpayers' money that we do not need. While the legislature has added millions in property tax credits recently, Ricketts says residents may not be seeing that money because local governments continue to raise them. That's why he and one hand want to bring back a bill that caps local governments on how much they can raise property taxes every year. Depending on where you live, you might not see that much relief because of spending going up. So we've got to have some kind of agreement across the state that limits increases. That bill fell four votes short last year, and it's unclear if any minds will change as the new year and new session begins. Now, last year, the legislature passed a bill that began to phase out those receiving Social Security benefits over a 10 year period. One thing senators think they can do this year is to make that phase out go faster. Reporting in Lincoln, John Kipper, 3 News Now.